today I'm going to tell you some of my experiences from last year, some of the lessons that I learned last year and some of the things that I experienced as a young and upcoming YouTuber. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess. You're welcome to Princess Beyond Passion. Thank you all so much for coming back to view my uploads. To my unique viewers, thank you so much. I see you all. Please keep coming back. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell to all so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new upload. That way you stay updated with the things that I'm talking to you about. Today I'm going to tell you some of my experiences from last year. Last year being 2021. Some of the lessons that I learned last year and some of the things that I experienced as a young and upcoming YouTuber. This video is part two of this particular series and part one is somewhere down below you know i'll put the link in the description down below and after this part there's still going to be another part that's part three because it's a series all right i went somewhere and i was interviewed by some upcoming um youtubers and they had a series of questions for me so from those questions I have come up with these videos to help other people who are upcoming as well to learn from um, you know the experiences my struggles and other things that I had experienced last year this is why I am putting out these videos all right I was asked about challenges with children for families um, for channels who are into family well sometimes you have to shoot at night sometimes i have to shoot at night you know because of the noise noise from children noise noise from neighbors noise from dogs the neighbors dogs barking noise from cars on the roads noise from all kinds of noises okay if it's not conducive for me to shoot during the day i shoot at night sometimes and at night the noise is less all right and i think one or two videos or so of my one or two of my videos i have had to shoot outside as well so it really doesn't matter the natural environment also is another touch um, I could go into the garden, set up my stuff there and shoot and talk whatever I want to talk. Or I go to a park and talk. Thing with those kind of places is you get intruders or um, video bombs. You know, people could be passing by. Like in one of my videos, some person thought I was talking to the lawns. And the man had to repeat it twice and he kept saying... Oh, you're talking to the lawns. Oh, you're talking to the lawns. Talk to the lawns. Talk to the lawns. And I was not talking to the lawns, obviously. You could see me. I had set up something in front of me and I was talking. And he just felt I was talking to the lawns. So I had to respond to him. No, I'm not talking to the lawns. I'm actually talking to people. If you check my channel, you will see that video there. So I did not edit that part out because it's real life. I think um, that was the day I was going to talk about recovery. And I had to go into a park to talk, to talk about it because I wanted to illustrate with some things. Okay. I was asked about my space. How do I get my space and such um, beautiful backgrounds? When I started... I created space from anywhere I was and I still create space from anywhere I am. <laughs> I create space from my house, wherever I go, I create my own space and I make my background clean. So it depends on what your channel is about. So you set up your camera or your phone, you have to manage your space. You don't have to wait until you get a big house or get a huge house and then you use one room to create a studio or you now have to go to studios, proper professional studios and then you start paying them 
for, for to shoot your videos if you are a content creator and you want to go to a professional studio to shoot your videos that is fine that is what you want to do but i am saying to you that those who have asked me that question i didn't have to wait to start visiting a professional studio where i have to pay every session to be able to create my content i just have to start wherever i was wherever i was any house i enter i'm going to have to shoot a content right now where would i use i think about the place i use and i figure out a place for myself if i go to a park there are other users in the park i figure out a place where i could you know where there is less noise or if i could manage the noise i just use the place so that is it about space for those of you who have asked me about space how to create um space for shooting my content that's how i started and start how you are start with what you have you don't have to wait until you get all those decors that some people deck themselves with some people deck their uh, backgrounds with decals I don't like such decals so I like my background clean simple that's the way I am I don't want my background cluttered and all that and all that and all that all right so that's that about that and talking about noise I have talked about noise already if the noise is too much whenever I wanted to shoot and if the noise was too much for me I would shoot at night. I would wait until everybody has gone to sleep and I would shoot at night. In fact, some of the videos that I have shot at night are the best. Some of them got more views. Some of them, their lights were very good. Some of them, some of them are the best. So you could shoot at night. If you know that children are disturbing you, wait until your children are asleep. Then take one or two hours and Create whatever you want to create. You can as well create multiple contents so that um, you throw them out, you know, maybe part one, part two, or give them different. It depends. It's up to you. It depends on what you do in your channel. Okay. So if you are coming across my channel for the very first time, please do not pass by without subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i have a new upload one of the struggles that i also passed through when i was you know starting out is intimidation um what you might call bullying all right i am saying this for the purpose of people who are going through this i went through that a lot because i had said that i was just throwing out content you know, I was concerned with throwing out content and impacting lives, reaching out to people. I was just doing my thing. So when I started learning how to manage my channel, when I started learning, and I think it was the first LS I visited ever, I was bullied there, okay? During one of those early um, live streams that I visited, chat up people i don't just go grabbing people and grab you know like that no 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 i chat you up and then i let you know that i have gone i'm going to your house or something if if you are not allowed to make friends i get out of that place all right so this particular live stream allowed people to make friends so i had gone to this person I visited this person's house and I came back to tell this person oh I have visited your house and um, I left you some beautiful packages okay and guess what the person told me the person told me oh called out my name in full and told me I've checked out your house your numbers are too low so in my mind I was like oh my numbers are too low what has that got to do with visiting you paying you a visit and coming to inform you that i have paid you a visit so are you telling me that because my numbers are too low you cannot <laughs> visit me or you cannot what does that mean in english you understand so <laughs> i don't want to say everything and i don't want to mention names i am not going to mention anybody's names okay so i'm just saying this for the purpose of people if you're going through such a thing please do not let that kind of thing bother you you might have even gone through worse things than i went through that was just one example i gave you but when i realized that there are people out there these are people these are human beings these are not machines 
One day a host embarrassed me in her house. So when I realized that some people are just toxic, I decided, oh, okay, you know what? I, I've got to run away from toxins. I do not want to create content based on toxins. Because if you get entangled with toxic channels, you are going to get entrapped into some sort of toxicity. It's going, it's like a virus. It's going to affect you. Do you get? So I decided I was not going to get involved with any kind of toxic. So if I get into a house and I realize that the host is either talking about things that I shouldn't get myself involved or that the people in there are toxic or that two people are fighting or something, I'll quietly withdraw and I'll get out of that place. All right, so that is how I extricate myself from anything that has to do with toxins. My channel is a positive channel. It's filled with knowledge and love and respect for people. So everybody has what they are doing in their channels and how they are building their channels so you don't have to do what i'm doing okay so this video is going to continue because i don't want it running too long so this is the end of this part the next part i'm going to continue to talk about the struggles that i faced as a content creator